whether the weather is cold or whether the weather is hot, we'll be together forever and ever, whether we like it or not. Whether the weather is cold, whether the weather is hot, we'll be together forever and ever, whether we like it or not. Whether the weather is cold or whether the weather is hot, we'll be together forever and ever, whether we like it or not. This is Evelyn, Robin, and Robert. Hey. Uh, oh, sorry for interrupting whatever that was. No, no, no. No worries. You're just having a warm-up. We're about to start class. No. Ah! What the hell? Ah! Don't be frightened, Lou. It's just an energy transference game. You're supposed to take the energy that's given to you, mold it, and then pass it on. Observe. Bah! No. Oh, come on! So unmotivated. He must have gone to CalArts. Five, four, three, two, one! Maybe Lou wants to play a different warm-up game. Uh, no. Wait, what are you doing? The mirror exercise. Amazing. Tell who's leading and who's following. Kanye. 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 Look at you when he capitalizes the Y, so that probably. Kanye. 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 Yeah, that could be really good. Okay. Oh, Jesus. No. Oh, this is good. He, and then people who's trying oh, to get good. Yes. We could put some, That's yeah. probably a hoe. Some horns. Lou, glad you're home. I just got a- Why are all my clothes in the living room? Lou, glad you're home. I just got a call from my agent and I booked the part. <laughs> Laurence will play the lead in the stage version of the film. Guess who's coming to dinner? So? So we're helping him do research. That's why you guys are going through all my things? Well, the director's decided to keep it a period piece, which I think is brilliant. Laurence is going to knock it out of the park. Look out, Sidney Poitier! <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, you got cast to play Sidney Poitier's role? Yeah. You? Yep. You're gonna play a black man in the 1960s. I know! <laughs> yeah, it'll be a bit of a challenge. But luckily I have you. I feel blacker already. Hey, so you think that just by wearing all my stuff, you, you know what? I don't even care. I want you guys to put all my stuff back where you found it right now. You seem upset. I, I didn't think it was a big deal if I borrowed your clothes. No, no, it, it wouldn't have been a big deal had you asked, but you didn't. Okay, you can't just go into my room and take my stuff. All right, it's an invasion of privacy and it's rude. I'm sorry, Lou. Now, I know you're mad, but I need you. Help me. Help us understand what it's like to be black. Why are we even asking him? He doesn't even act black. <laughs> Wait, what'd you say? I don't... I don't act black? So, so what now? Just being black is enough? I gotta act black too? Answer me! What? Hold on, nigga. I got this. So, what, you think being black is just some kind of hobby? Well, it isn't. It's my life. And I'm tired of people like you always trying to make me feel inadequate because I don't feel into some perfect little description box like you think I should. As if it isn't enough that history has taken our greatest strength and made it our only weakness. Now, I don't care what your degree says or how much research you do. None of y'all will ever know what it is to be black. Because being black isn't just what you know or how you act. It's also about how you live, and ultimately, how you die. Laurence, that was amazing. I 
actually close my eyes for a second and just listen to you. And I thought I was listening to a black guy. Me too. I even clutched my purse tighter out of reflex. Uh, guy, thank you, guys. Thank you, but honestly, I couldn't have done this without Lou. Thank you, Lou. Y'all need Jesus. Ah! Oh.